Alrighty, this is a late um, homebrew Wednesday. Uh, this week has been absolutely flat tack. Um, yesterday, uh, Wednesday, we did uh, went and watched The Hobbit in uh, the high frame rate um, 3D, which was awesome. If you get a chance to go and see it, go and see it. Brilliant. Um, what's been happening this week? Ah, this week, not a lot. You can hear the rain. This is uh, this is Wellington summer for you, okay? It's... It's yuck. It's, um... I think it's just because of... Well, I don't know what the hell it is, but it was nice and blue and sunny this morning and then all of a sudden these big rain showers, rain clouds came over and dump of rain. Apparently it's going to be hail as well. Um, it's not cold, cold, but... It's just a pain in the ass. It's wet. Um, what's been happening? I haven't done anything else in the brew house. Um, I have, however, had the council pop around and say hello. So they sort of uh, came up here on Tuesday and had a little bit of a walk around and a little bit of gander at what I was doing. Um, and they were they were fine. They were happy with with what. There are the plans and bits and pieces that I've been doing, and of course I've been to the council beforehand, so I'd said it's a it's a non-habitable area for the brew house, um, and there's no structural changes, so that's all good. However, the plumbing, um, I did have an issue with the plumbing. Uh, I was originally going to run the wastewater into um, the stormwater, uh, with the idea that if it wasn't going to pass um, uh, consent, that I could run it into a gully trap. So. They sort of said to me, oh look, you've got to run that into a gully trap. So I went, yep, that's cool, I can get that done. So there'll be an update on home brew, on the um, brewer's build, on the brew house build, um, showing that the new pipe works running into um, a gully trap. So it's going into uh, soil sewer instead of stormwater, which is fine. It's, you know, I expected that that's what I was going to have to do. Uh, they also just want to see my sign off for the plumbing and sign off for the electrical work. So that's all fine. Other than that, they're happy with what I've been doing, so that's cool. Um, uh, what? I've got some beers. Oh, I did. Alan from uh, Gluttony Ch Glut uh, blah, 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 blah. Behemoth Breweries, which is a great name, Behemoth Breweries. I like that. Um, fired me down a couple of beers, and I've got his home brew, and I'm going to crack open his home brew. Now, the video's a little bit shaky, and my eyes are looking at the wrong spot because I'm actually using my phone. Um, my video camera, I dropped it and it broke, so there's an insurance claim for it. So, please, um, get some consideration of the video, it's not the best video quality, but, uh, I just wanted to make sure that I could get a video up. It's going to take another 10 days before I get my, uh, report back from my camera to see, um, whether I get my insurance claim for it. I'm going to try and set my phone up so that we can see the pour of this beer without it falling off and breaking like the camera did. So it's just sort of sit that there. How's that? Just turn it away from the light there. That's not a bad shot. Oh, I'll have to crouch down. There we go. Oh that's pretty good. I like that. There we go. My glass. A bottle. Mm. Good carbonation. A little bit of sediment in the bottom, which is all cool. It's nice and nicely settled after the unpacking. Let's go. I'm pretty sure we can't hear the hiss with the rain, but if it bubbles in my ear, I'll be a bit annoyed. Oh, yep. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, I can see the bubbles starting to fall. <clears throat> now, I don't actually. Um, I don't know what this beer is, what style this beer is. Uh, I forgot to get my details off Alan before he, um, before I drinking it. So, I'll play it by ear and see how it goes. Okay, that is, um, it's got a, we had a nice head creation. 
the head's starting to fade away. That's a little fella coming in. Can you get in, Bob? Yep. Bob? Okay, I'll be quiet. I'm doing a beer review and don't knock the wall. Ah! What? No, please? No, because I've, no, I've got a camera up here. Oh. Yeah, don't touch the camera. I won't. Okay, good lad. Right, um. Yeah, what's this bit of funny wood? That's for? a funny bit of wood, isn't it? Why is it? Why is there lines on it? Um, I'm not sure. Must have drawn lines on it for something. What the, what is that from? I don't know. Um, some good carbonation in this is bubbles are constantly being formed, so there's some um, really nice carbonation that's been formed in, in the beer. Um, there's not a lot of head retention though, but that's okay. It's just um, head retention is just uh, proteins, any proteins and bits and pieces for head retention. But that's fine, not a lot of beers have a lot of head. It smells alright, and it's a good colour. It's a little bit A little bit cloudy, but of course it's been travelling all the way down from Auckland, so it's had a little bit of a shake around. But hey, homebrewers don't need to be clear. Well, it doesn't matter if the beer's not clear. Alright. Oh, here he comes again. Hi. Hello. You got one egg? Only one. Okay. Do you want to take that in so that I can finish doing this? Because I need some... You can take the egg in because I need some quiet. Do you want to do this? Thank you, buddy. I'll be in soon, mate. Back again. Alright. This is, the, this is the hard bit. This is where Alan's sitting there going, Oh my god, what's he think? what does he think? Oh no, does he like it? Try and read his facial expression. We go, No. It's actually, there's a lot more malt flavour in there than I, than I can smell on the nose. sweetness. That's what it is. It's residual sweetness, um, malt sweetness in there. So I'd say the beer is, um, it's even, it's been intentionally left just a little bit sweeter, like a bock. Um, what style is it? What style is it? It's a brown ale. Okay, it's a brown, brown ale. It hasn't got a lot of hops in it, so it's just a simple brown ale. Must be a simple brown ale. Go on, just flying by the wing here, mate. Um, It is a very, it's got a really nice body in it. It's a little bit, it is a little bit thin on the after palate. But that's fine because that, that initial, initial taste, it has some rich body in it. It's not, it's quite a quaffable beer actually. It's, um, can't taste the alcohol in it. So, that's, Probably masked with the sweetness in there. Here comes a little fella again. A little guy that can't understand. Just pop inside while I do this. Oh, he's just throwing balls. Yeah, I know. We could show the angry bird balls. We could show the angry bird balls. Okay, look. Show the angry bird balls. Uh, there they are. There's one. Uh, and the other one. Uh, cool. Now yeah, go. Nah, nah, nah. Awesome. Nah, nah, nah. Oh. Okay. Anyway, Alan, this is actually a really nice beer. There is. Not a lot of aroma on it, which is good. You know, there's some beers that don't have a lot of aroma on it. Um, and it's got a really, yeah. Say yes. Do you want to try? No, you can't try. Yes, I can. No, you can't try. No, you can't try. No, no, you can't. Say it's really good. Say it's really good. And nice. And it's really good and nice. From the from the mouth of babes. There you go. It's really good and nice. Oh, I know what else you could say. This beer is built. From and then it made it a tent. Okay. You head back inside, buddy, and I just finish this off, or you'll be quiet. Dad, you could keep these here if you want to show them again. Okay, if I want to show them the balls. Yep. One more time. One more time. Um, Here's the balls. You have to show their faces. No, okay. Because you need their faces. Here's their faces. There you go. Show me. Show you my balls. 
Right. That'll make a good start. <clears throat> it is, Alan. It's a great beer. Okay. Um, I can't. I can't put any fault with it. Um, there's nothing. There's no off flavors in it or anything like that. It's um. As a as a brown ale, I'd say it's a brown ale, and I'd say it's around about a five and a half percent ABV. I can't taste the alcohol in it, but I can just. Ooh, I can guess it. Let's do um, beer care packages every week or so, or every month, or every fortnight, or whatever. You know, every beers that we got, let's just flick them off. Let's get this done. Um, and start sharing these beers around. These are bloody good beers. Bloody good beers. Anyway, long weekend coming up. It is Wellington anniversary weekend. Woohoo! Three days to build. Uh, one of those days, though, will be brewing. I have to brew on Saturday. Um, I'm not brewing here, I have to brew down at the shop. Um, and I've got to make a traditional bock. Now, I was originally going to do a decoction brew uh, with a two step decoction, uh, but I chickened out. Um, just from my time constraints, I really want to get back here and get this brew house done. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to use um, uh, Melanodin. Uh, malts, uh, about 90, 900 grams of melatonin malts in the grain bill. It's only a 20 litre batch. Um, just to bring that uh, caramel flavour back in again. Um, it's the cheap way of de doing a decoction. Um, <laughs> I've got a, 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 cheap, a cheap sun going, really. If anybody wants to do a beer swap for a, a little boy, I can do that. Um, I've got to do this brew uh, because it's a competition that I'm holding at um, at our home brew club and the competition is going to be at the end of March for a traditional bock. So there's a whole bunch of people that are putting together their traditional box and we're going to do the BJCP um, uh, voting stand, uh, uh, review standards and bits and pieces just so that we can break into that and have a little look at that. And I thought, ooh, I'm running out of time to do this beer because... I have a son. <laughs> Happy Homebrew Wednesday from me and... Jesse! Jesse! Wait, we have to say we ma made this ourselves. We made this ourselves! We did. And I will see you next Wednesday. Actually, I'll see you in a brew house build. Because uh, I'll have those coming out this weekend. So stay tuned. There will be plumbing updates and some wall linings. Um, and the Sparky's coming around, so I'll see you sometime in the weekend. And we... And next Wednesday. And we... And sorry that this was late. And, and we will have fun, fun, fun! And Bye! We, Cheers! <laughs> have another one! <laughs>